Hey guys, what up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Alif and today video I would like to talk about the new Vegas Pro 19 software. So Vegas Creative Software just recently released a new editing program which is Vegas Pro and Vegas Pro is not the only software that they released. They also released the other program like Vegas Effects, Vegas Image, uh, Vegas Stream as well as Sunforge software which are bundled uh, under the name of Vegas Post. But in this particular video, I will uh, talk about Vegas Pro 19 software specifically. First improvement or enhancement that they have made on Vegas Pro 19 is the user interface. So now the interface is much more darker and the icon and labeling on the program uh, is being changed as well. So this uh, makes Vegas Pro 19 look more professional and with a darker color scheme uh, of the interface the monitor that you are editing on doesn't have to produce a bright lightness because the scheme of the interface is darker so i really appreciate this because now when the skin is darker my monitor doesn't have to produce a really bright lightness so it doesn't constrain my eyes when editing on the program so that's a really great uh, enhancement or improvement I shall say on the interface which I really like uh, a lot here. Vegas Pro 19 now support Blackmagic RAW codec and this is actually a pretty big news uh, for professional video editors out there because most uh, production nowadays tend to shoot on Blackmagic camera and in order to get the best image quality out from that camera you have to shoot in RAW because when shooting RAW you can actually change the ISO, the white balance and everything uh, in post uh, later on. Those, those things are just a metadata which you can alter later on. That's the beauty of shooting RAW. But in order to edit RAW clip, the program that you're using must support them. So now Vegas Pro 19 do support Blackmagic RAW so you can import them directly into the timeline. You don't have to transcode or use any plugins in order to play the RAW codec in Vegas Pro. And the uh, RAW properties menu is also available here in the program which you can change the ISO, the white balance, all the good stuff for the RAW codec. Uh, however, the Blackmagic RAW is still in beta mode, so it's not yet fully developed. I'm pretty sure it will be fully developed on the next update. And what surprised me actually that not only Blackmagic RAW that Vegas Pro 19 support, ProRes RAW code that actually can be imported in the timeline. It's just that you don't have the uh, RAW property menu. And they did not say about uh, ProRes RAW on their website or on their advertisement video so I'm pretty sure ProRes RAW will be coming in Vegas Pro 19 uh, in the form of update but they just doesn't make any announcement on that part so um, I'm not sure why but I think they haven't get any sort of a green light from Apple to uh, advertise uh, Apple um, ProRes RAW but I'm looking forward to see that RAW could act uh, in the next update as official release. So the next improvement that they have made here in Vegas Pro 19 is the color grading panel. So uh, they basically redesigned the grading panel interface to make it look much more professional and they also introduced the range limited color wheels. So what a range limited wheel, uh, color wheel does is basically it color and only specifically adjust a certain range a luma range in your video so let's say if you are coloring a highlight section it does not spill over to midtones or shadow area so if you ever use the Vinci resolve um, software there's one tool called lock wheels it's it's basically the same thing as the lock wheel there in resolve so now you have it here too in vegas it's just that it's been called as range limited beside range limited wheel they also improved the color wheel because in the color wheel if you pay attention on the leaf and gain there is a color picker so you can pick a black and white point in your video to white balance by using the color wheel and also in the input light there is several um, lock uh, light conversion so let's say if you are uh, you, you are shooting your video with S-Lock 3 or Panasonic uh, V-Lock or shooting in Blackmagic uh, color profiles, 
you can convert those lot clip to rec 09 by using the lots provided in the grading panel which is really great and you have uh, several stylistic light as well in the output section which you can apply to your video and also the color curve is being redesigned as well uh, because usually uh, in order to change a certain value uh, a, a color value like let's say red or green or blue you have to toggle between them in the color curve uh, panel there by now if you just drag it or enlarge the panel of the color curve it will display all of the channel which is the YRGB so this is much more better workflow in my opinion which even resolve a uh, constraint to that one panel and you have to toggle between YRGB channels so this is a really great improvement that they have made on the color grading panel here in Vegas Pro 19 which I really like a lot. They also improved the dynamic RAM preview and pre-rendered function in Vegas Pro. Uh, so I'm gonna start off with the dynamic RAM preview and uh, I actually did make a tutorial video about uh, on how to enable GPU acceleration in Vegas Pro but there is a caveat, a known issue is here in Vegas Pro that in order to use GPU acceleration, you have to switch off your dynamic RAM preview. So you can of have both things run simultaneously. So what they have done, they actually kind of separate them and you can have both uh, things run simultaneously and there will be no glitching or error appear on your preview window, which is really great. So now you can have dynamic RAM preview and GPU acceleration enabled together, which is really great. And they also change a bit uh, the dynamic RAM preview panel a bit. So instead of allocating certain values, you typing out the value based on the available memories that you have in your computer, you just slide around to a certain percentage that you want to use the amount of memory that your computer have. So Vegas only limits up to 75% of dynamic RAM preview and the rest extra percentage will be used for the applications running in the background. So this is really great changes that they have made on the dynamic RAM preview, which also improved the stability of the programs. Now for pre-render, it's a feature that already exists long time ago, but not everyone aware about it. And the difference for pre-render and dynamic RAM preview is that pre-render actually render an actual video file and that file will be stored in the catch folder. And when you are creating a pre-rendered clip on a certain portion of the timeline, it will actually create an indication line telling you that part of the edit is actually being uh, pre-rendered. So you know which part of the timeline is actually being pre-rendered. And as long as you don't make any changes of the edit, when you close the project and you open it up uh, again next time, those pre-rendered clips will be uh, attached to your projects, to the timeline itself. So the moment you make any changes, those pre-rendered clips will be detached from your timelines and you have to pre-render again in order to view your edited project itself. So this is actually a great enhancement that they have made over dynamic RAM preview as well pre-rendered uh, clip functions here in Vegas Pro software. So the new thing that they add here in Vegas Pro 19 is adjustment track and with adjustment track you can add any effects on this uh, track and it will affect video below it. It's very similar to adjustment layer that you often see on other software and actually uh, adjustment track kind of system here in the timeline already exists in Vegas Pro since Sony era it's just that no one know about the existence uh, it's actually the same video track you have to switch it into adjustment track so now what they have done they make the track more obvious by relabeling it as adjustment track rather than video track and the cool part is that the uh, composite envelope now in the adjustment track can uh, control the intensity of the effects applied on the adjustment track which is not possible on older version of, of Vegas Pro now they make it possible which is uh, pretty neat in my opinion the next improvement that they have made on the program is the project notes so the project notes will synchronize with the playhead in the timelines so for example when you're doing your edits and this 
part of the timeline you want to add a note so when you add a note that note is actually sync with the play hit so you can add all the necessary notes like maybe fix the frame add a black bar or change the color etc on that notes for you to basically read what you need to changes on this part and that note again like i said sync with the play hits so let's say the next time when you done your other edits in the timeline and you read the notes and you want to see which this notes is referring to you can press jump to time code and that will automatically brought the play hit to the positions of the edits which the notes is referring to and this is really great and i really like this function a lot so this is actually a great improvement that they have made on the project notes they also add the text scene and split functions where you can actually right click on a edited clips that have hard cuts and crossfade and vegas pro will analyze the video and make a cut based on the video cutting point which is similar function in DaVinci Resolve so it come in a way of OFX plugin or you can just right click onto the video and surprisingly the scene detect function does a pretty great job in cutting the clip based on the video uh, cut points which is really great next uh, we have the most um, cool feature in my opinion in Vegas Pro 19. I think this is the highlight of the uh, feature I shall say the things that I really like a lot which is the text to speech tool by the name of itself you can write anything you want and you can create a audio file from the things that you have written there in the box and the coolest part here is that you can actually translate to any language you pick and it will generate an audio file based on the language that you have picked and it sounds very natural to the language. So for example, if I pick Bahasa Melayu and generate an audio file, it sounds like it was an actual Malay speaker, which is really mind blowing. Hello guys. Saya menguji Vegas Pro Text baru untuk alat pertuturan. So the next thing that they have improved on Vegas Pro 19 is the Vegas Hub itself. And for those who don't know what is Vegas Hub uh, is all about, it's basically a cloud service and you can actually upload a video and a photo from your smartphone device doesn't matter ios or android to the vegas hub app in your smartphones and it will transfer to your uh, vegas pro software you can actually sync them and from the hub explorer here in vegas pro you can simply drag and drop those uploaded clip into the timeline of Vegas Pro that's pretty cool and I did make a video about it previously because Hub was introduced on the Vegas Pro 18 so they enhanced it a bit more here in Vegas Pro 19 and beside Vegas Hub they also introduced Vegas content which is sort of stock video provider I shall say so you can download stock video as well musics uh, which coming from story blocks and all of that done internally within the Vegas Pro program so uh, Vegas Hub is exclusive for those who subscribe to Vegas 365. So this includes text-to-speech tool. So if you buy Vegas Pro, you will not able to get access for Vegas Hub, which uh, contains Vegas content and the mobile upload functions as well as text-to-speech tool uh, features. So you have to subscribe to Vegas Pro in order to uh, get uh, this hub uh, functionalities right so since we're talking about subscriptions let's uh, talk about the pricing so Vegas creative software uh, released three types of Vegas one is Vegas edit and then we have Vegas Pro and Vegas post so Vegas edit is purely the Vegas Pro software and you can either buy it for around 250 US dollar or subscribe to it monthly or annually if you wish to if you subscribe to it um, let's say monthly the price i if i was not mistaken below 20 us dollar but annually will be much more cheaper because you're subscribing for 12 months straight and then we have the uh, vegas pro which is the professional uh, version a bit more so you have vegas pro software itself you have vegas stream as well uh soundforge audio editing software so there will be three software came along in vegas pro and if you decided to buy it will cost you roughly about 400 us dollar 
and again if you subscribe the price range uh, would be around 20 to 30 US dollar it's depend which kind of subscription you pay is either monthly or annually and then finally we have Vegas post which have all of the program we have the Vegas Pro Vegas effects Vegas image Vegas stream as well as uh, Soundforge and all of that will cost you uh, if I'm not mistaken around 600 US dollar if you decided to buy it or again you can subscribe monthly or annually which the price will be ranging around 30 to 50 US dollar I'm not sure about the subscriptions but that's the uh, range value so it doesn't matter if you pick Vegas edit or Vegas Pro or uh, Vegas post if you subscribe to any of three of them uh, you'll get the features to Vegas Hub which is Vegas Hub are exclusive for those who subscribe uh, monthly or annually to uh, Vegas uh, software all right and if you buy the program you don't have the access to Vegas Hub so that's the pros and cons of either buying or subscribing but it doesn't matter if you buy or subscribe because you still get an update for the program itself so is that all in Vegas Pro 19? No, not really. Because the product owner of the software did mention that whatever you're seeing now in Vegas Pro 19 is the only the beginning. So meaning that there'll be more features will be added to Vegas Pro 19 constantly in the form of update. So I really looking forward to watch the new features and improvement that they will make on the software and also i would like to tell you guys that vegas pro 19 will be the last version of vegas pro that will be labeled as 19 and maybe next time in the future there will be no more vegas pro 20 vegas pro 21 it will be just vegas pro so starting from now on you guys would want to refer this program as vegas pro instead of sony vegas which is completely wrong or Vegas Pro 19 or 20 it's just Vegas Pro starting right now I shall say because there'll be no more Vegas Pro 20 in the future all right so um, that's all the features that they added here in Vegas Pro uh, software at the moment and I really uh, like what they have done on the program and I actually looking forward for the updates that will actually release in the future so if you like my video please leave some thumbs up and please stay tuned because i'll be releasing more tutorial vi tutorial videos related to vegas pro uh in the future so thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time bye, -bye.